guys, it is Tuesday, December 27th, and sorry for the last few days there wasn't much of a vlog, but you probably won't notice this will be the first day. I just said that I had an off few days, you know, just a bit lazy this on my part. I was more likely watching videos and that stuff, but not much happened. We had Christmas dinner, didn't record that because I thought that would be a private moment for me and my aunt. D don't get the wrong idea. Like this time around, since it was just her and I. I already showed you open presents in the last vlog. I pretty much was using some of my stuff I got. Like, for example, the webcam my aunt got me, the surprise webcam you've seen in the other vlog. I don't know if I'll be able to insert a clip, but you already seen it anyway. It works really well. In fact, even over my new headset, it is actually my favorite gift. Because it, I mean... I like everything I got. I mean, everything, like my clothes and the carts, I love too, right? But out of the stuff, like, obviously this web new this webcam she got was not expected by me, for one. But out of all the things I got that's supposed to help me with my channel, this is the most useful, or the most performance-wise best thing. Like, the the video camera, the camcorder, isn't as good as I thought. It, it It's okay, but I think I'd do better with this or my other camera in some ways. My headset, not the noise removal I thought. Guess I should have read a little more on that, but it works. It Quality, in a sense, is better than my old headset, but I have to make choices where how I'm going to record from now on. That's what I'm going to have to do in the future. But the webcam, it is better than anything I expected. The quality is literally fantastic, almost like this or better. Better than this, how you see it now. I know you'll be thinking, why am I not recording my webcam as this? I, I always use kind of this as a recording thing for my vlog. So it's kind of going to continue in a way. But I use the webcam for things like reaction or the Let's Plays I use the webcam for. Or other videos like card openings. I'm going to start using that for them. But for just the vlog, I want to kind of have a camera. You know, or a phone. That's just the way I do it. But, as I said though, the webcam did the best, had the best performance. Better than anything I can imagine. A <laughs> hundred times better actually than that computer one. As you'll see, hopefully soon enough. I mean, I have to focus the cards sometimes, but I'm just getting used to how to hold them. It's all not not the web. It's not the webcam's fault on that part. It's more my nervousness and how I'm, or my what is it? The way I like hold them, my handling of them. But as I said, like I've downloaded the Sims 2 games. I'm gonna start recording sub point for you guys again with that. But I said that with the Harvest Moon, too. I'll get back with all of it. As I said, I'm trying to, if there's plenty of projects I do have an idea for and I've started, I just got to get them finished. And, I mean, I'm st going to start having to change my channel within the next year or two on how. We'll just say this. I might start giving you choices on Let's Plays. But these Let's Plays are going to be already finished. You know what I mean? I'm going to... Finish a few Let's Plays. Before I publish, I'll give you guys a choice. I'll just say that. I might make an update on that later, but I'm not saying which Let's Plays until I actually put the choice up. As that I'm working on one of them now. I'm going to start another one. There's two others. So I might try to at least get one more done and give you a choice of two to start with. And then I might go into more. As I said, I'm going to try the best I can. You might not get videos every day, but I'm going to try out my quality of them. As I said, like, the vlog was late last week because Christmas and all, so I had to get back into it. So as I said, you got one, two, actually. One version, I'll say now, one version was the copyright three version. One version is obviously copyright stricken. I can't get money from it. Because stupid me, I added Christmas songs to be opening them. Now, if you want to watch the copyright version, you can, because you can still watch them. But I thought, just in case, I want to be able to have monetized on my vlogs, too. 
Like, I don't know why, if anything, it's them. Because I, I put the most effort into them in some ways. But anyway, I'll just say this. when I, when I you If you watch the copyrighted version, the one that doesn't say copyright free or whatever, YouTube's friendly or whatever, then you'll notice that all these songs in there are not really, like, Silent Night or anything, like, peaceful. It's more ironic, in a way. Like, the first one, it begins with Grandma, Grandma got ran over by a reindeer. And some of the other songs in this version is all kind of anti. Not in a bad way. It's more of, of a joke version. I just thought, well, everyone will be playing regular peaceful Christmas music. You know, I mean, like, I want it to be a little different there. And, okay, I'm sorry if some of you also got offended by some of this music. But, you know, I do love Christmas. And I'm excited about Christmas. When I'm always excited about Christmas. I don't hate it. But this has got to be ironic. You know, I mean, I just thought, well, might as well. I might give some people a chuckle. And as I thought that was funny. Too bad it had copyright on it. But what can I do? I thought I still wanted to keep that version out since people could watch it. But the other one has no music during me opening the gifts. Just me opening the gifts. Same thing only without the music. As I like, obviously I think the mu well, one version has music in one area, but it's copyright free, like that song is. Everything, the other songs that are in during the opening of my Christmas gifts are all copyrighted by something. But there really is hard, it's hard to get a copyright free version of these songs. Like, the Grandma Got Ran Over by a Ranger, Ranger, a Reindeer, the compilation of the songs of Joy to the World, the Teacher, you know, I mean, those type of things, and there's one somewhat cursed word, you'll probably hear that there, but as I said, I'm trying to, as I said, I was trying to make it ironic, in a way, like, anti what usually is played, different, and when I play them, I don't really have those feelings, it, it's more for comedy's sake, like, I don't know what, I just thought, when I was editing my vlog, I just thought, mm, that would be something funny, and the thing is, originally I wanted music in it because I thought it would be boring otherwise. But then I thought, well, I want something up there so you have both versions of it. So as I'm, yeah, as I said, I'm trying to put more effort in my vlogs than I used to. Like in some ways, I try to edit some things out. I try to add, like, like, for example, when I was wrapping the gifts, I sped up because it was 17 minutes. So I made it all together with that whole segment, five minutes, instead of 17. The rapid part was only really a minute, and there was some point of me talking, and me talk, like, both before and after. And I played, the music may be the same every single time, but that's the best music I could find for happy-go-lucky music for now. So until I spruce up my editing skills, I, I'm having one song for certain genres, for certain parts of the vlog. I said, I, I really try to put effort in my projects from this point on. Not that I ever, like, I always did to a degree, but I've tried to really stop and think, what would I like to see? And that, that may sound, what is it? What do they call it? Not full of myself, but narcissistic. Okay. That may sound a little narcissistic, but when I say that, I mean, if I didn't want to watch something, how would I expect someone else to? If I can't stand something, how can I expect anyone else to? So I'm doing it, like, if I can't enjoy it, someone, well, someone else might be able to, but more than likely, if I can stand it, someone else might not be able to. So I'm trying to go into that frame of mind. Like, like also, like this is kind of a mini update within the vlog, since it's the first thing of the vlog and I missed two days. What I decided to do is that from now on you might in some in so, a lot of my videos that aren't webcam related like like let's plays you might hear my voice being a little more wispy or you know I'd be like like a little higher pitched than that. But I just thought that I would rather hear that than the tap tap tap. And so in other words, I'm usually post narrating from this point on, in Camtasia. And when I do that, for some reason, the audio is a little out of whack. But, 
the clicking is to a minimum, next to none. And the only thing, and it's better concentrate on my voice and all that other noise. So it may not be the most pleasant thing, but I thought back that if I had to, if I had to withstand something, like, like there's not much I can really do at this point. Besides either live narrating and having that button, like the keyboards noise in it, or record it, post, you know what I mean, beforehand, post narrate in Camtasia and have that noise, or that voice, the way my voice sounds, funny voice. So it's either that or the keyboard clicking, because there really isn't in between with what I got, right, and how my editing skills are, but I do try. But anyway, I figured I would far rather the voice than the keyboard pounding. So, the exceptions are, like, any webcam video, like the Walking Dead series, I will try to keep the buttons to a minimum, but I do have to use that a lot with the game. But that will probably be the only series that anything, like, that and the predecessors, you know, the predecessors of The Walking Dead will be the only series that might have that noise. There is something else I might be going to try, like with the webcam when post-narrating, seeing how that sounds, just removing the webcam footage. I'm, like, I'm going to try different things. Like, I want it to be the best I can make it with what I got. As I said, I was so lucky my aunt got me that webcam. That was a lot of money. And a really good quality it showed. Like, the quality shows the money she spent. Like, like, I don't think I ever really showed you, but I got it right here. And this has something underneath there that it could hook to my computer, but it could also stand on, like, a table or something if I was just recording myself and didn't want to have the computer in the way. It, it, it was a really good quality. And you're thinking, yeah, such good quality, and I'm putting it on my nightstand table. But that's the case I want to record something real quick. You know what I mean? For video-wise, that way. Like, I have my... What is it? My mouse. On one of my other tables close by. Just in case I want to play, like, The Walking Dead, for example. Or any other thing I'll need to click that for. Like, I'm trying to be prepared, as I said, from this point on. Like, if I really want to record something, I will. And, I'm, as I said, I'm really trying everything I can. Like, I'll admit, I am still a little nervous about the post-narrating thing. Like, it, it hasn't been bad for a little while, but I know at one point I went to live narration because I had issues with post-narrating. Maybe I've improved. Maybe I'm learning, like, to cut things beforehand and have a certain cutoff point when I record the video. You know what I mean? Leave a few minutes out. That is important. Like, you know what I mean? It, it seems to help, like, having a limit and ch rechecking everything and knowing that I can still re-narrate it. it. I'm not as nervous as I once was doing it, but I still have that little, you know, um, about it. But anyway, guys, it's been like 13 minutes. There's not much that had happened, so I'll see you in the next clip. Hey, guys, back again. Just be a little bit longer to the other one because of the lack of, you know, footage for the last few days. I did pretty good. I was just recording a new series. Well, this say kind of, it's almost done, but this is not going to be up until, well, I don't know when. Because I'm eventually going to give you guys a choice of LPs to choose. I'll try to make a quick video on it, but there's much more for me to do before I can give you that option. I said one of the LPs I'm going to do is really long, so that is going to be my new main focus, maybe. But anyway, I recorded those. I'm starting to get into post-narration, which actually helps with my commentary, too. My voice isn't its best, but there's not much, there's not much like, pam, pam, bam, bam. And there's more commentary. I actually don't just always go, eh... All the time. I actually see, in some parts, I seem even energetic. Which is a first. 
Like, I want to try to keep that attitude in my LPs. Like, it have limits to how long I play, too, to make them shorter. And I'm, like, feeling pretty good about it right now. Which is something that I never felt for a good while. Like, I'm at a point now where I honestly don't care how many subscribers I have. I never really actually cared, but... I'm just like, hopefully it will never go down to zero again. But it never did actually go down to zero. It was zero, be like, at one point. But as I said, like, I do have a little bit of hope, right, that things will eventually get better. Like, especially once I improve a little bit of my work. Like, as I said, like, I always tried the best I could. I guess maybe I never just put any thought or any realization in it. Like thinking about what I would want or what you would want, as I said, like said, pr previously stated. So, I am obviously going to only record games that I know I can get into and can finish, but I will still give you a choice of those ones once I'm done. And always keep those other ones safe. That way I have some option for the future. I said, I want to keep going with this as much as I possibly can and do everything else on top of that. As I said, when you think about it, I really have a lot of time on my hands. And when I go to work, I only work six hours a week. But it's just getting my motivation up is the problem. And knowing the proper time to record. Like, for example, I find that I have trouble sleeping at night. But possibly this, the, my, out, my channel could be the problem with that. I need to learn when just to relax and take it for me, take time for health, and kind of just not worry. What does it say? Saying not worry, don't worry, be happy. That scenario. But as I said, I am gonna get, I am getting some projects done there, and there are others. Yes, I know I am gonna focus on the projects that I have now as well. I am gonna take time just for them, but I want to get a lot done. As I said, like. I want to be ahead of the game in some way. Like, you know the saying. Or, not saying, you know the feeling. But anyway, guys, I think that's about it. I will see you guys in the next clip. Hey, guys, it is Friday, December 30th. Sorry if there wasn't much in the vlog this week. As I said, like, getting back into a routine. Like, right now, um, I've been up since, like, yesterday. I'm trying to stay awake till at least 8 or 9, so wish me luck with that. It's only nearly 2. I'm going to go brush my teeth soon because, yeah, as you all know, I need to kind of get back into that habit of just, you know, doing everything I should. Like, hopefully maybe I'll get to some sleep tonight, wake up at 11.30 or 12 and stay up get myself back into a proper sleeping schedule. But as I said, yeah, it bums when you're up at night and you your body constantly keeps going and you can't get to sleep. Well, I was on another note, I'm trying my hand out in okay, I know I've did like video game reviews and that stuff, but I'm trying to get my hand in reviewing, like, like, TV shows, episodes, you know, like, from, like, Rugrats or South Park or that stuff. The first, well, obviously I got a copyright strike on the first one I did. I didn't even upload it yet, but, well, I did, but it is scheduled, and it was blocked worldwide. I put in a dispute. So, so far, it doesn't look like it's blocked worldwide anymore. I have no idea, like, but the, the dispute is still being filed, so. But I did, and I also tried to upload it on some other sites. Didn't work, same problem. So, and one other problem where my, my account was banned, and a lot of people were being jerks, yeah, I know, you'll, some of you family see this, but we'll just say that the site I chose, I forget what it was, I might put it in the, in the corner or something now, 
was not the friendliest sight, I yearned to find out. Like, hearing things like, you are, like, as soon as I heard your voice, I turned it off. There's even one, okay, I can laugh about it now. There was even one who said that, wow, maybe with the Lord, this will, what is it, maybe with the Lord, this will up the abortion laws to, to 200 week, 200th week of life. Yeah. I know some of you will, some of you who know me and who are good friends with me who don't have that feeling would say, you should report that. That is terrible. And yes, it is. I decided I'm not going back on that site anymore for that reason alone. I deleted a lot of those comments. What shocked me the most about the, it was at all, if I'm shocked by anything is, okay, I know I'm not like Messiah. I'm not like perfect. In fact, my content is far off to some of the superiors who know how to do the stuff better than me. But the amount of negative response, oh, like, let's put it this way. There was 12 comments on this I'll just say what it was. It was a South Park um, Cartman Gets an Animal Probe review. And I know that show is disgusting, but that wasn't what the point of their comments were. But anyway, there were 12 comments on that. And I can't decide which one it was. There was two I uploaded. One I uploaded the old Rugrats review. But anyway... Out of 12 comments, there were either only, there were 11 negative, or there were 10 negative. I cannot remember which one had two positive, and, and those positives were kind of backed back by the same person. So only one person out of 12 people. Yeah. Same thing on my other one, like only one person out of nine. Which was the same person. I honestly wish I could have messaged that person. Because it's harder to even contact people on that site too. But like. Like that person was the only person to see any quality in what I did. I'm not saying they thought I was Messiah. But they were nice enough to give me, if there was any criticism at all, which I don't see any in there, it was legitimate and constructive. Like, one of the comments said she sees where I'm going with, going for with some of it. So, I mean, honestly, I kind of wished I could have messaged that person to thank them for being the only person that didn't just insult me. Now, as I said, like, I know my voice isn't the most attractive voice. I know I sound like a kid, and I wonder what they would have responded if they knew if it mentioned I was 24. 25, I mean. Like, like, for example, I think some of them think I am a kid with the voice I have. And, yes, a lot of those comments were... What well, kind of horrifying in a way? Imagine if everyone who said uh, that annoying kid would you whatever stupid kid or whatever knew I was an adult. That would have been ten times. You know what? They're cruel enough to a kid. Okay, imagine if I was like ten years old, twelve years old, and I was excited about doing this, and I went off and did this, like. I'm at an age where I know these things happen. I mean, I'm I'm appalled and I am surprised that the negativity way out did the po outweighed the positives. But I know there there are jerks like that out there, where if it was a kid who literally did this, like what I did, like they, I mean, like it's hard to explain it. But one, like one, another comment was funny saying, "Get back to YouTube." Well, at least they're admitting that I'm good somewhere. 
okay, yes, I said, I have problems with YouTube, but after that, I'm starting to think, well, maybe YouTube's the better place to be. Like, I know there are mean people on YouTube, too, but for some reason, I may have gotten a few on and off comments, but that was far and in between. Right? And very slow, too. Like, I'd be getting... I got way more positive comments if I got any that... Like, you know what I mean? On YouTube than I did on this site. Like, I'm starting to think that this site is meant for a lot of trolls. And I'm shocked there was that one good person within the mix of them. Like, I mean, obviously some of the comments weren't as obvious... But you can kind of, when you read it well enough, you can kind of see the negative in it. Right? They may have just word it differently. Like, and I don't know if that person who, well, not, she, the person didn't really defend me saying stop that or whatever. But they were, le seemed legitimate in what they said. Like, one person said thank you for that or I forget what it was. Like. I said, I am, like, I guess I went from registered to permanently banned. And I really don't know, I said, how this copyright things works. It isn't just YouTube with this issue. I'm starting to see, yes, YouTube has had the terrible algorithm in that. But I don't think there's ever going to be a site that will be perfect that way. Because I think, well, how to, how to explain it. Like, there's always a negative to every website there is. Like, I learned about that one. You get a lot more negative than positive. Unless you're one of those people who put out, what is it, porn or something. I know that's little TMI and a little disgusting, but that site, now that I look at it, isn't the best site for wholesome things. I mean, okay, the South Park series is not wholesome by any means. But compared to some of those, and I didn't watch any videos, but just by the scan of what showed on the videos. And you're wondering, if I saw that to begin with, why even upload anything on there? Well, it was a trance. I mean, I wanted to have a site where I could have all my videos, not my Let's Plays. I mean, the videos that would get normally get copyright stricken. But I'm just going to have to work around that. For YouTube because like no matter what that's just the way it's gonna be because I don't think as much as a lot of people will be get exact what is it exasperated to hear this I may have butchered that word I'm sorry but there's not gonna get any or much better than YouTube as bad as things are getting now I think even with the copyright policy and all that, I think YouTube is still the best option. It's just that people are going to have to try harder to confiscate, confiscate, whatever, for the policies. Like how I was all stressed out because I wanted to make my review as good as possible. I wanted to have the clips and everything to show my point, but that is going to be a challenge. So I'm just have to, going to have to compromise and maybe use visual, like picture visuals, to the best of my ability. So, and also like one person just didn't like, like on all the sounds I didn't like the way my voice sounded. Well. At least there's not as many jerks like that on YouTube. Like, as I said, I am open with everyone on YouTube, too. And I've met some legitimate people. So it isn't as bad, you know, that way. But, still, as I said, like, it is going to be harder, too, because I have to learn. Like, I really want to do start doing some more review videos. Because, as I said, it's something that I have passion of watching, and it gives me incentive to watch more episodes of shows, so I want to be able to give my opinion on those episodes. 
But I have to learn to scan and get pictures that will work and find a way to sound professional or t and more tolerable. I mean, it would be a would be a start. But as I do understand where some people do come from, although I will it will admit that all those comments on that site were uncalled for. I deleted them. I'm not going back on that site. I know I have had one or two re bad comments on YouTube, but heck, like, even, like, I think one person on YouTube that was months ago said for me to F myself, or I forget what it was, or F you. That's what it was. And now I, that I got all those comments on that site, that seems like nothing. I mean, I would never do that because I don't want to get in trouble, obviously. But I'm at a point now where I could say, F you too. Right? I, it absolutely means nothing at this point. So, you could probably think that I've seen some of the worst now. That I could probably see about myself. And it maybe helped me grow a little bit. I mean, the only reason, and I'm not saying that, there's nothing wrong with any of my, like, the video or whatever. But, I mean, I said the only reason I was a little bit more surprised by those responses is that I really tried hard with that video, and I didn't realize I was coming across as that. And I don't know if it's just because they thought I was a kid or what. But... Well, anyway, I'll see you in the next clip. Hey, guys. It is Saturday, December 31st. Happy New Year's Eve. Last day of 2016. And I have the last ice cap of 2016. I cannot believe next year is 2017. The year has gone by so fast. It's funny. I remember it was, like, January or something. I'll have to check, like, you know what, I think I will, I'll go into my file, my fi or YouTube account, because I'm definitely going in to see what year I started this channel, well, actually, no, I think I can say when I started the channel, okay. Mm. I'm going to date at it oldest. So this was three years ago, but I'm going down to the first ever Let's Play episode. Which has Whoa Whoa. So on December 11th of this year, I have my channel was three years old. So, I've been on this YouTube while I'm at my Let's Play in my career, really. You know, I'm going back to the other one, which was my Pokemon Beasts or Pokemon Reviews. So, it, so really, in April, I was three years, so... I just, I cannot believe it, like, three years, and going to next April, it's going to be four years for this whole channel in general, but in December of next year, I'll have a four-year-old actual, like, active channel, and yeah, you're probably thinking, like, right now I have 58 subscribers, it's not, you haven't been doing well, I, you know what, I'm at a point now where I'm okay, like, I think that it's weird that I even have that many supporters at all. I mean, yes, I know sometimes I feel down because I do work hard and it doesn't seem to show, but when you think about it, like once once your work pays off, you tend to lose respect for your channel and for yourself. This keeps me humble in a way. That I'm not, that I'm so low on subscribers. I keep working harder, and you should. Th you you probably would think, why doesn't that put you off? 
in a moment, on days it does, for for that short amount of time anyway, but it just makes me respect what I do more, that I, I can work hard, and yes, not many people see it, but it, just, it, what is, the saying again makes me humble, where people who work really, that have a lot of subscribers, like in their millions, don't even have to think about it, and it makes me appreciate what everything I do all the more. Some people don't like it. I'm fine with that. But anyway, I thought I would wish you guys all a happy 2017. You're going to be getting this in that year. I'm going to edit the vlog today because I'm going to try to stay up till midnight. Try is the word. I may want to go to bed earlier because, you know, getting into a proper sleeping routine. Because hopefully this year coming I'll do better at work. Do better with my channel. I don't know if I'll be losing weight though. I, That is a hard thing to give. So I'm not going to really make that a goal right now. I'm going to like make a mini goals with that. Like I may not hope. Like let's say I hope to maybe cut back a little bit this year altogether. Even if I do so many days. And But anyway guys. Happy New Year's Eve. And I'll see you guys in the next clip.